Hello, uh, greeting to all the panels and uh, Assalamualaikum. So uh, today I'm going to present my video demo for my final year projects. So uh, my topic is about uh, optimization of DG placement to minimize real power losses by particular some optimizations. So basically my project covers uh, two types of bus system which is uh, 33 and 9 bus system. But before that, uh, my name is Muhammad Shahmi Azfar bin Zulkifli and I am supervised by uh, Dr. Hafiz bin Habibuddin. So uh, let's get to the simulation at uh, Mendes Software. So uh, I will start by my 33 bus system. Basically, uh, uh, before we run the PSO to find the optimal location, we will compute the real power losses uh, by using log flow using neutral method. So uh, this is uh, the bus data for my <coughs> base case, uh, 33 bus system. So uh, yes, <coughs> so uh, right. This is uh, the graph uh, for vo voltage plot. So here is my real power losses since uh, my project only focus on the real power losses. So <coughs> uh, then uh, we will proceed to the PSO after we finish the load flow. <coughs> so uh, for my 33 bus system, I will uh, use only one quantity of DG, which is uh, we, we fix size uh, of 3 megawatts. So uh, this is my objective function. So basically the objective function is uh, the load flow analysis because we have to make the power losses as the objective function because uh, the PSO will generate uh, random populations and randomize the location then we will compute the uh, location with the least or the smallest uh, number of losses so here yeah. Uh, so this is the formula that I use, which is uh, x represent the at the seventh column, uh, the generator megawatt column. So it will uh, randomize the DG placement uh, here. So I will uh, proceed with my PSO. So uh, as we can see, the MATLAB is calculating the. Uh, PSO to find the least power losses to optimize the location of the DG at the TCG bus system. So it will take uh, around 1 minute and 20 seconds if I'm not mistaken. So my my uh, my PSO for thirty three bus system use a uh, hundred population size with a uh, fifty iteration number. Yeah, uh, then uh, the PSO is complete. So uh, this is the PSO conversion characteristics. Uh, so as we can see here, uh, the best function uh, found is zero point one megawatt because uh, my system use unit of megawatts so uh, let me show uh, the best variable means that uh, the DG location but uh, it, it is round off so then uh, we proceed to my live bus proceed with the uh, load flow first but uh, before that uh, my live bus system will use uh, to quantity of DG because uh, the 
the total load demanded uh, is very high uh, here megawatt demanded around 350 megawatts so i use a uh, 2 2 dg with a size of 14 megawatt each so this is due to the high demand uh, so i will uh, the process is the same the power loss is made to be the objective function and yes uh, i will run the load flow first so uh, this is the real power losses uh, with uh, for my base case neighbor system 2.29 megawatts so then i will uh, run the load flow eh the pso for my neighbor system for my neighbor system i use a uh, 50 number of population uh, yes <coughs> the pso is done and this is the pso conversion characteristic so as we can see here, uh, the DG location is at bus 4 and 5. Uh, for my 33 bus, 33 bus system, the location is at 6. So this is the the least power losses that obtained from the PSO. 1.24 megawatts. It is uh, smaller compared to the base case, which is around 2.3 megawatts. So basically, uh, I think I have proof that uh, the the, the optimized location of the DG can reduce the power losses for both both uh, case. So I think uh, that's all for my uh, presentations. So uh, thank you.